Confident people often tend to be very charismatic, which makes them very popular and also in job interviews, they usually are the ones who get hired in the end. So how exactly can we look confident? If we want to seem confident, we need to develop the habit that confident people have. So today in this video, I am going to show you five habits of confident people. So when it comes to the tone of your voice, you want to make sure that at the end of your sentence, you go down because if you go up at the end of your sentence, it makes it seem as if you are asking a question, which simply shows that you're not necessarily sure whether what you're saying is actually that true. Especially when you want to be assertive, for example, when you're doing a negotiation, it's very, very important to go down with your tone at the end of your sentence. Because if you don't, it kind of seems like you're asking the other one for permission. And of course, if you want to be assertive, you don't necessarily want to give the other one the impression that they, they have to allow you to do that kind of thing. Truly confident people accept themselves to the extent that they don't need any approval from anyone else whatsoever. Therefore, they don't have this need that most of us have to impress other people. We often tend to think that people who brag a lot are full of themselves, but oftentimes we tend to brag when we feel like we have to show other people only the best, the best parts, the best sides of us and have to somehow put them in the spotlight so that they don't see our true weaknesses. Either way, bragging doesn't come across well at all. If you seem confident while you're bragging, you simply seem arrogant and when you don't seem confident while you're bragging, you seem like extremely insecure. So if you care about other people's opinions, simply pretend you don't care about their opinions. <laughs> not caring about other people's opinions also includes uh, not being totally embarrassed when you make a mistake. So when you make a mistake, instead of quickly hiding what you've just done and pretending nothing happened, simply laugh at yourself. This shows that you are comfortable in the situation as it is and the reason why you're so comfortable in that situation even though it might embarrass other people shows that you won't let your confidence be impacted by such a tiny mistake. Furthermore, it makes you seem very playful when you are able and willing to laugh at yourself and this therefore makes you very charismatic. So instead of having a this is awkward attitude, try taking on a this is fun attitude. In fact, making mistakes actually makes you more charismatic than even if you seem totally perfect. In a study where they showed exactly the same clip of exactly the same job interview, there was one single difference in one clip and that only difference was that one, one time he spilt coffee all over his suit at the end of the clip. Ironically, the one who spilt the coffee over himself at the very end actually turned out to be rated as more confident. The reason why not seeming totally perfect and making a mistake every now and then makes you so charismatic is that it shows that you, like every single other person in this world, are imperfect and therefore you seem more relatable when you don't pretend you're perfect. It's very, very difficult to connect to you if you constantly try to only show and bring forth what you find acceptable and good about yourself because they'll notice that they've never really known the real you and therefore can't really connect to you. And, and if you make a constant effort to always be on your best behaviour and always try to keep your guard up to avoid criticism, you will be thinking so much about what you should do or what you should say to be on your best behaviour that often you'll end up saying nothing and doing nothing. As Aristotle said, the only way to avoid criticism is by saying nothing, doing nothing and being nothing. By building this wall, you may be protecting yourself from criticism, but at the same time, you're also not allowing anyone else to connect with you, you're not letting anyone else in. Even if they do feel connected to you, you probably won't feel that connected to them 
because you know that they have connected to a person that really isn't truly you but something that you've made up for them so that they would accept you. This tendency we have to only show the best or the size of ourselves that we find acceptable is a vicious cycle. So first we seek validation and we may even be admired but we won't feel connected either way because in the back of our heads we're thinking oh yes okay so they know these things about me that they find good and that I also find okay or good myself but they don't know all the other parts they don't know all the other sides of me that I might not be okay with and they probably wouldn't be able to accept that so you feel less connected and then due to this lack of connect or due to this lack of feeling connected to other people what you will start seeking even more validation and the cycle goes on and on of course your body language also has a big impact on how others perceive you so when we're insecure we tend to slouch we tend to hunch we tend to close up and so if you want to seem more confident you need to do the opposite you have to sit straight and um, stand straight and you also have to use open body language so to sum up if you want to seem more confident you have to go down with the tone of your voice at the end of your sentences you also need to make sure you don't seek that much validation don't be too embarrassed about making mistakes and um, sit and stand straight and use open body language so if you don't only want to seem confident but actually be confident i've also got some videos with a couple of tips how to do that down there